members to as well. Those questions will begin uh, by myself as the chair, recognizing the gentlewoman from Wyoming for her five minutes. Thank you, and thank you to the witnesses for being here today. Parents have every right to know what their children are being taught, what information is being given to them, and how schools are spending our tax dollars. Parents have every right to engage with their local school district and to make their concerns known and to, to demand accountability for the education of their children. And they also have every right to demand that their children not be indoctrinated, but again, be educated instead. Even though there are now multiple ways for information to be provided to par parents today, it seems that educational institutions are more opaque than ever. And we must ask, why is that? Could it be that if parents actually got to see what their sons and daughters are being taught, that maybe the far left agenda of critical race theory, gender confusion, and environmental alarmism might be in danger of elimination? I think that's exactly right. Ms. Justice, in the NSB le uh, letter, as NSBA letter that has been discussed, calling on parent, that called parents domestic terrorists and asking for the federal government to crack down on them, the NSBA claimed, Quote, this propaganda continues despite the fact that critical race theory is not taught in public schools and remains a complex law school and graduate school subject well beyond the scope of a K-12 class. Moms for Liberty has done a great deal of work all over the country, including in Wyoming. And have you found examples of CRT and other concerning political ideology in classrooms? Sorry, first time here. Yes, ma'am, <laughs> we have. It's been really unfortunate, and Nikki could speak to this as well, the incidences of propaganda, of ideology in the classrooms. Um, and, and, you know, many people will say, well, CRT isn't being taught. No, it's not being taught. And they're not teaching a graduate level course um, in schools, but what they are doing is teaching through the lens of critical race theory and critical theory in general. Um, and it's demoralizing our children and it's having an effect that's causing division amongst the children and we're seeing increases of violence across the country that we're very concerned about. Well, and I think that's exactly right. So I'm going to be very blunt in my next question. Is it fair to say that the NSBA lied to the Biden administration and DOJ about the teaching of CRT in our, in our lower grades? Yeah, I absolutely think they did. What we saw, I mean, the, the, the National Center for Education Statistics conducted a study of long-term trends in reading and math assessments for nine-year-olds to examine student achievement during the pandemic. Average scores declined five points in reading and seven points in mathematics compared to 2020. My question continues to be, why do we continue? You're talking about books here, but no one wants to talk about reading proficiency. That's American right. parents are very concerned uh, about what's happening in our schools. And I think it was a real effort to silence us when we came to the school boards. The school board Board members did not want to answer questions and they wanted to protect the system. I think that's exactly correct. And there's one other point that I think is important to make, and that is that we have a committee report that cites numerous instances in which the National Threat Operations Center routine, routinely received tips based on everything related to parents and their involvement and attendance as school boards, except they're engaging in unlawful action. Through the full committee and our select subcommittee on the weaponization of the federal government, we have routinely exposed that the DOJ has not been going after violent acts or unlawful acts, but they've been going after people with whom the left disagrees. Would you agree? Yes, ma'am, I would. Okay. Uh, Ms. Johnson, I just have a real quick question for you. Do you believe it is censorship to prohibit teachers from exposing first graders to Penthouse Magazine? Do I believe it is censorship? I'm sorry, ma'am. Do, do I believe it's censorship to? Do you believe it is censorship to prohibit teachers from exposing first graders to Penthouse magazine? I don't know of any instances in which a. That isn't my question. My question is: Do you believe that it is censorship to prohibit teachers from exposing first graders to Penthouse magazine? I believe that it is important that we have parents, teachers, and educators. You are not involved. going to answer my question. Then is that right? I believe it is important to have parents, teachers, and educators involved in understanding what is, what is being presented to students. Do you believe that it that is appropriate is... to present Penthouse to first graders? Of course not. Thank you. I yield back. Thank the gentlelady. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications so every time I put out a video, you can know about it. It'll come up in your feed.
Hit that like button if you liked it. And be positive. Peace.